I'm plotting my own escape today, but only along the coast. As well as the Battle of Crete route, thousands of walkers come each year to the island to trek the Eiffel Trail, which is part of a walk that runs through half of Europe. In three days of trekking the Eiffel Trail from Horace Fakion, I discovered the fishing villages of Lutro and Naya Rumeli. I hiked through a gorge before reaching Paleochora, ending on the far westerly point of El Afanisi. Mountaineer Giorgio Antonakakis is joining me for the first section of the trail. Although the E4 European walking trail runs the length of Crete, I've decided to take three days to tackle some of its most spectacular points along the southwest coast. So this is a part of the E4, the long-running European hiking trail, mm -hmm. which starts from the Pyrenees, in the, uh, crosses the Alps, yeah. and arrives in uh, northern Greece in Florina. From there, crosses all throughout Greece, yeah. jumps to Crete, and here we are at the southernmost point of the European hiking trail. But I can see you are very fit. Yes, I have been in uh, many places around the world, hiking or uh, climbing expeditions in uh, France. And then it was Matterhorn. On day one, it takes two hours of easy walking from Horace Fakion to reach the village of Ludro. Wow! And what's that? This is the end of Cape Muri, yeah. where Ludro is located. It's beautiful! What a nice little town! This is like the perfect place to build a castle, don't you think? These ruins are from the medieval period and uh, there are many of them all around the island from different uh, periods of our history. Mm -hmm. Some of them from the Venetian period, from the Turkish period. Yeah. There are many of them because they used to build them to protect the island from foreign invasions. Yeah, I've heard that you Cretans are very protective of your own land. Yes, this is true. And from there, crosses all throughout Greece. In the afternoon, you can walk from Ultro to Aya Rumeli, but it takes around five hours. And here we are up to the southernmost point of the E4. So, this is your town for tonight. Agia Romeli, na? Agia Romeli. Okay. I have to go my way. Oh, it's been wonderful to have you as a guide. I'm gonna miss you very much. Take care of yourself. Okay, I might see you again on the top of a mountain. Locals advise walkers against tackling the section of the E4 trail between Aya Rumeli and Suya, as it's very unsafe in parts and takes at least 12 hours to complete. But it's possible to hire a boat or take a ferry west along the coast to the village of Suya. The great thing about walking through a gorge is that you can enjoy a very different landscape. And there is plenty of shade as well to hide from the burning sun. Actually, this area is very well known for its 32 gorges. Lots to choose from. Hi. Hello. Hello. What are you taking pictures of? I'm taking pictures of this interesting rock formation here with the, with the reds and the blacks in it. The reds are the ions and the blacks are magnesium. I suppose these were made many millions of years by the shift in plates here in Crete and also the earthquakes that you have here. So where are you going? I'm going to Paleochora. Oh, that's great because we're going there. I oh, really like to join us. Sure, yeah. Okay. Stop. Okay, let's, let's go. go. So you know, in 1834 there was an English traveller, quite adventurous for these times. So he had a vision to walk uh, all this uh, part of the South Crete and uh, he went even to the most remote places. Because of him, all these antiquities, they came to the light. Wow! This is beautiful! We are in the ancient uh, city of uh, Lysos uh, from a Greek-Roman period. It takes just one and a half hours to walk from Suya to Lysos. It was one of several ancient villages along the south coast that specialized in glass making, arrowheads and dyes, which they traded with Africans. One of the highlights at Lysos is the temple of Asclepios, the god of healing, dating back from the 3rd century BC. The temple has a pebble mosaic floor of geometric forms and animals, built by the early Christians. From Lysus, it's another five hours walk to Paleochora. It's Paleochora. Well, that's it. Finally, we made it. I can't wait to take my boots off. The trail from Paleochora to La Funisi is a comfortable hike, which will take about four hours. <sighs> so, there's La Funisi. What a view. As you can see, 
That little island over there is separated from the mainland only by a very small stretch. And the waters are so shallow, you can easily wade across. With its long expanses of fine sand and shallow water inlets, tourists come to Elefonisi from all over the island for a day out. But once a day trip is have left, you've pretty well got the beach to yourself. I'm very surprised by Crete. The mountains and the sea have surpassed my expectations and I've been captivated by its fascinating past. Even though Cretans are proud and protective, I felt very much at home. Maybe it's the Mediterranean lifestyle that set me up in the perfect mood to enjoy the whole experience, but in Crete I felt in the place I always wanted to be.